So, the final piece is the covering. Um, some little top tips. I'm assuming that most people have done covering, but I'm going to do it as if somebody's building the pug for the first time and they've never done any covering before. Now, so what I'm using is, I'm using standard solar film just for the fuselage and I am using the Aura Cover Clear Light uh, for the wings and the tail surfaces. The golden rule for me uh, for doing the covering is make sure that the bench is absolutely dust free. Um, you get a lot of static produced particularly when you peel off the, the back covering for this and it's like a magnet for everything you don't want. So make sure, I'm going to hoover my bench, make sure it is nice and clean. And then the next thing is, you've got your iron. This is a modelling iron. Um, it's got a temperature on here. My advice is, um, if it's the first time you've ever done it, there's a perfect template to have a go at practice covering, just a small piece, getting the iron the right temperature. Always err on the side of being slightly cool. Uh, the other thing is, my golden tip is, keep the iron moving. The moment you stop, you'll end up getting a hot spot, particularly on this glider where it's very thin, it's very easy to uh, distort uh, the structure. So I'm just going to clean up the bench and then we're going to get on with the fuselage. So there's my strip. Remembering which side it goes down. It's the matte side, not the gloss side. Just going to finish that to the end there, and you want plenty over the nose because we're going to have to cut round the nose. So the idea is, I'm just going to start at one end, and then just slowly tack this down as I go, just to hold it in place. You notice how I'm keeping the iron moving all the time. I've just knocked up the temperature just a little bit. It's always better to go in. There you go, that's going down better now. And just. Remembering that the hottest part is the tip. There we go, that's going down better now. Now having done the basic side, I'm just putting the knife in here. I'm going along so it's just above the edge so again I get a nice roll over So I've finished both sides and I'm just using a little bit of tissue and I'm going to go over. If you keep going over with the iron bare, you'll end up with sort of like matted uh, finishing spots on that. And I've just found that this, the other thing to remember is that's why I keep saying about um, using the kitchen towel is to get rid of the residue, is to dye comes off of the film. It's just a
I'm going to try and do this over the bench so you can all still see it. This is my final piece. I'm just going to drop on there like so. I've got it off the end of the bench because obviously I want to protect the, the tail we got on here at the moment because that looks like that could get broken off easily. So I'm just tacking this in a couple of places. You see that alright? Let me see if I can move that further up. There you go. I'm just going to tack this all the way along. I'm hoping you can see this because it's I'm having to lean right over the bench to do this. So all I'm gonna do is now a little tip here, you'll find it's actually this solar film, this particular stuff is actually easier to cut through the shiny side than it is the matte side. If you cut through on the matte side it, it seems this is a brand new knife but it does appear to they do it does drag slightly. So I'm just bringing that round there like so. And this will stick very well because don't forget we're going over the top of the solar film anyway. So it's solar film on solar film. Look at that. So that's a nice little edge there. And then all I'm going to do is keep the iron moving. Oh, look at that. So there you go one basic fuselage the bottom and the two sides done i'm now just going to put a little fillet across the top little fillet across there and also do the canopy in the same process these procedures i've shown you um i'm no expert it's just what i've learned over years and years and years of experience i hope it helps uh, and particularly as I, I can guarantee you, if you're doing it on camera nine times out of ten something goes wrong but that's gone really well I'm really pleased, really pleased with that. Let's hope the wings go as well. <laughs>